Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today I'm going to share three cards while playing with die cuts. Alta New has a new release, it is all about die cutting, these are all standalone dies that you can play with to create lovely cards. Let's take a quick look on the dies of the collection and first let's take a look at the flowers. Just like always, Alta New came up with lovely flower die sets. This is the layered hood flower, it gives you one flower and there are only two layers for the flower and three layers for the leaves. But it looks really stunning and you will see this set in action today. The next one is another quick and simple one. This is the Floral Doodles die set. Just two layers, a big solid one and a lovely detailed one for the top. And you also get stems and lots of leaves. And you will see this one in action as well in one of the cards that I shared today. Now the next one is one of those dies that you can use again and again. I absolutely love leaves. I think that they are a great filler for cards. This is called Just Leaves die set. Plus you can use them throughout the year. You can use those with any flower, dies or stamps that you have. I think it is a great die set to have on hand. This next one is the Hooven Heart die set. You will get a die that you need to cut out twice so that you can hooven one inside the other. And then you will get a little detail that fits inside for the top of the heart. You will see that in action today. Now this is the linear crossroads die. This is one of those dies that I absolutely love to use as a backdrop for sticking on top my focal points. I have a similar one which is the burlap and I have been using it a lot. In the same idea is the next one which is called Twigtastic die. If you like borders for your cards, this is the Swirl Motif die set and I love the beautiful design as well as the fact that you get the outline as well as the actual detail so you can stick one on top of the other for a really lovely look. And finally for more borders, this is the Creative Edges Scalloped Scallops die set so you get scallops inside each and every one of those scallops, a really intricate design but it's going to give a gorgeous detail on your cards, plus you get an extra die that adds a scalloped design made out of dots. So I'm going to put those aside and start with the first card and I will make my best to use as many of those new products as I can in three of the cards that I'm sharing today. So I'm starting with the Woven Heart and you can see that you can fit that uh, extra detail on the inside of the top of that die. I'm not going to use that for today. And I'm going to die cut it twice and uh, I'm using uh, pink cardstock for that but each one of those pieces is slightly different so you will be able to see that woven look even better. For doing all the die cutting I'm using my mini blossom die cutting machine. Putting this heart together can be a little bit tricky so I'm going to show you step by step how I made it work in a really quick and simple way. Just because you have to woven paper, you may end up with creases in areas that you don't want them to be. So that's why I'm going to use my bone folder and I'm going to add a scoring line just above those strips of paper. This is at uh, 1 and 1 eighth of an inch exactly. And of course I'm going to repeat the same process for the other piece. By having that scoring line at the top, I know that even if I bend those strips of paper, they are going to look just fine. At the back of one of the pieces, I'm going to add double-sided tape on all of those strips. This way, when I start assembling my heart, it will be easy for me to anchor those pieces together. Now I'm going to peel off the backing and then I'm going to work on a silicone mat. A silicone mat is a non-stick area and I can easily lift off the pieces of paper that have glue underneath. That's the piece that has adhesive at the back. I lifted every other one of those strips and uh, fold them back and I'm going to align the other piece at the top and put all those strips back down. This way I have everything stuck down together since I have adhesive at the back and now I'm going to lift up the other strips I'm going to bend them at the back and don't worry about those scoring lines. These are not going to show since you are going to thread through another strip. Again, I'm going to bring down another strip from the top and I'm going to stick everything down. I will repeat the same process and I'm going to put this in fast forward so you can see how this little heart comes together. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit on what I'm up to. So we are still on lockdown for weeks, however the numbers aren't dropping. 
and it seems that we are going to spend Christmas alone as a family. Now, I do have a couple of more videos scheduled for this week and the next week, but then I'm going to take a break from blogging to enjoy the holidays with my family, and I will probably come back with videos in the new year. Leave me a comment down below, let me know from where you are watching me and how are things going on your part of the world. The vaccination hasn't started in Europe yet, but um, soon it will be. So I am hoping that uh, the new year is going to bring us uh, health, peace and uh, hopefully our lives back. So anyway, back to the heart. I do have some excess from each side, that's why I use my scissors to make it look neat. And now it's time to put my card together. I do have a pale pink panel, which matches one of the parts from the heart. And I do have another white panel on top. I'm going to stick the heart there. And then just to embellish it a little bit more, I did die cut all those leaves. These are from the Just Leaves die set. I die cut a couple of them using a pale green cardstock since I have pale colors on the whole of my card. I'm going to add some glue only along the stem so that I can then use my fingers and lift uh, the leaves just a little bit up so that I have some dimension. I love the leaves because they are kind of a filler for a card. So if you need to add something extra, leaves are perfect for that. And uh, I am going to add a sentiment. This comes from the Sentiment Strips stamp set, which is one of my favorites. I keep on using it again and again. And I went with You Are So Loved. I finished off my card by adding some pink gems here and there along the leaves. And here are some close-up photos. For my second card, I'm going to use the layered hood flower die set. If you notice, there are two main layers for the flower and uh, three layers for the leaves. I am going to use cardstock from the Seashore collection and I'm going to use only those four colors, both for the leaves and for the flower. So I'm going to pick up the darker and the next one for the flower and the two lighter colors will be used for the leaves. This way I know that I have a lovely color combo since the hard work was done by Altenew and I know that all those four colors really coordinate with each other. And although there are three layers for the leaves, I'm only going to use two of them. After all, I usually tuck the leaves underneath my flowers so it's not going to show that much. Now, putting those flowers and leaves together is super simple. After all, there are only two layers for them, but uh, it really makes a difference. I like to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue just because it is going to give me some time to be able to slide the pieces one on top of the other until I have the perfect placement. For the flower, I went with the darker shade of blue for the bottom and the lighter for the top. But for the leaves, I worked the other way around, so I have the lighter for the solid area. And for the detail, I do have the darker one. For the center of the flower, you die cut two pieces. I went with chocolate brown for the bottom one, and then with that glittery copper one for the top. I absolutely love the blue color combo for the flower and I think it looks really stunning. Now I'm putting together the leaves again really easy. So all the pieces are ready to go and I absolutely love that gorgeous glittery cardstock at the top of my flower. So I wanted to add the same element on my background. That's why I used the same cardstock to die cut the linear crossroads die. And since I'm planning to create a slim blind card, I die cut two of those since I have more real estate to cover up. Finally, for the sentiment, I went with the Bold Thanks die set. This is a die set from a previous release that I keep on using again and again. And um, I absolutely love that you get the outline that I die cut from chocolate brown cardstock and uh, the letters that I die cut from the same glitter cardstock that I used for the rest of the elements. So here I have a panel and this is three and a half by eight and a half. I used vanilla for this panel and I'm going to put together my cards. For that I'm using glue at the back of those uh, two backdrop pieces and I'm going to stick one on top of the other. 
I don't even mind if there is a gap in between. This is something that I'm going to cover up later on with the flower and the leaves. So by combining two of them together, I end up covering up more real estate of my slimline card. I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue to stick those down, however that was quite tricky since they are such a fine die cuts. If you want you can use some double sided tape before you die cut them, which is a technique that I'm going to show you in the next card. But I usually forget about it, I just go ahead and do all the die cutting and then remember that I should have used my double sided tape. Anyway. I place the sentiment at the bottom and I do have foam squares at the back as well as at the back of uh, the flower. And now it's finally time to tuck underneath the flower my leaves. I am going to stick them with my glue so they are going to lay flat. However, I do have some dimensions since so I used my fingers to add a little bit of a curve at, at the tip of the leaf. Now, I absolutely love browns and blues along with a vanilla cardstock as a background. I think that this uh, combo makes a, a really lovely card and um, it would make a great color combo for a masculine card as well. I am not going to add any gems on this card since it already has lots and lots of shine on it. So I'm just going to stick that down on a slim line card and this is 3.5 by 8.5. And probably this is my favorite card from the three cards that I'm sharing today. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite. And let's move on to the third card for today. For this one I'm going to use the Floral Doodles die set, but I'm only going to work with the tulips. I'm combining cardstock from the Cherry Blossom and Green Meadows gradient cardstock sets by Alto New. I'm going with a lighter color for the solid uh, die cuts and for the intricate design on top I'm going with the darker one. Now after laying all the pieces on top and uh, knowing what I'm going to cut from which paper, I'm going to use one of those adhesive papers. In this release Alto New has two packages, one is masking paper and you will find 10 pages inside and the other one is uh, double sided tape, you will find 10 pages inside as well. So I'm going to pick one of them and I'm going to cover up completely the back of the darker shade of um, cardstock. This way I'm going to die cut the very intricate designs and all I'll have to do then is to just peel off the backing and stick them together. This way I will not have to worry about using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back. It's going to make the whole process quick and simple and I did find that this adhesive is quite forgiving so you can easily peel off and reposition if you need so but then once you press it really good it's going to stay put. And now I did all the die cutting and you can see I have all the pieces ready to go. Now it's time to put them together and notice how intricate that layer is that you add at the top of the stem. So having this part as a sticker already and not having to fight with my white glue is a good uh, alternative. Another way to go with those uh, very intricate uh, die cuts is to use uh, spray at the back but I avoid using spray. That's why I prefer either the double sided tape or my Nouveau Deluxe glue. So finally I'm putting my tulips together and you can play with color. I decided to go monochromatic for my little flower bouquet there. And the fun part is that you have really long stems. This way you can create a bouquet and tie a knot with a beautiful ribbon on top of your card. Or like I'm going to do today, use a vase. I'm going to place all those flowers inside the vase and since I have such long stems I thought that it would work really great for a slimline card. And that's what I'm going for. The vase comes from an older collection which is called Mode Vases, there are stamps and matching dies and for this cut I just used one of the dies to die cut that lovely vase. I did die cut it from a paler pink so it matches perfectly with the whole color combo. I'm working on a white panel that's 3.5 by 8.5. And for the bottom just to make it look more interesting I did use a piece of vanilla cardstock on an angle and then on top I'm going to add a very thin strip of uh, gold cardstock just to add some shine on an otherwise really simple card. 
I'm going to stick the vase on top and I do have some dimension with foam squares at the back and then I'm going to create my flower composition. Now if you want to make a smaller bouquet you can always chop the stems and use as long of them as you want to. Just like always I do combine when I'm sticking down my die cuts glue with foam squares so I end up having some dimension on the flowers but the stems are going to lay flat. And I do have three leaves so I'm going to stick them two along the stems. I always like to play around with the placement and then I commit to stick everything down, although sometimes I don't show that on my videos. And now if you notice in terms of a design, for all the die cuts, leaves, stems and flowers, I do have two shades of cardstock. The only one that is without two shades is the vase. And uh, that was that little detail was driving me crazy. So I had to add a second layer with a darker shade of uh, pink for the vase as well. So I used some scrap paper to die cut one more vase and don't worry about the top of the vase, I'm just going to use my scissors and cut it out. I'm going to get inspired by the design of the actual stamp where you get a bottom that is slightly different. I'm going to use my scissors and cut out the vase, giving it a little bit of a curve. And I'm absolutely happy with how I customized that. I'm going to stick that down and I think it looks even better than before. Now all I need to finish off my card is to add a sentiment. For that I decided to go with one of the essential sentiment strips, die set. I used the one that says just because and I die cut it from gold cardstock that matches that uh, thin strip of gold that I have on my background. Finally to finish off my card I did add one little gem on top of every tulip and here are some close up photos. So these were all the cards for today, just like always you will find links down below to all the new products that I used. This is part of a blog hop as we celebrate the latest release by Alte New, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the info that you need to hop along with us, get inspired and join the giveaways. So I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all next time.